Well, I'm Earthy Man, and I'm out here singing songs to thank people when they do nice things for the planet. I do an occasional cartwheel and give them the earthy handshake or uh, tell them a joke when they do nice things for the planet. Just to uh, acknowledge people. Right now, the uh, companies are thanking people a thousand times for buying stuff. There's great companies out there, but there's some thanking that's going thanking that's going on for doing some pretty nasty things to our planet. So I'm uh, honoring people for doing nice things for the planet. In fact, I'm even giving people earthy money from the future. I went to the future and I started a bank, the earthy bank. Yeah, because I figured if the kids and critters of the future could thank us for doing nice things for the planet, they would. So uh, I give them earthy money and I'll give you an earthy to thank you for all the nice things you do for the planet this month. Here's an earthy from 4,000 kids and creatures of the future for all the great things you do for the planet because it'll really make a big difference in their lives. What kind of songs are you playing for people? Well, eco songs. Songs that call on people to do sweet things for the planet. Most of them are love songs. So, uh, I'm writing love songs that call on people to use clotheslines, uh, bring their own reusable water bottle, carbon offset, vote, donate start their own little revolutions to help take, take care of the planet, to use their... I sing songs that thank people for using their career to, to help the planet. That everyone, if we're going to save this sweet mother, has got to turn their career into a, a little bit of a green career. Everybody does that. So anyway, I write some songs a lot of times on the spot. So, I'm writing 140,000 love songs for the planet in the in the course of thanking people for using their career to uh, help the planet. I feel that everyone, everyone can can use what their talent is to help our planet in some way. Everyone, every job, everything that we're doing right now has got to come together in some way to help our planet because, well, there's a new statistic out that's saying that if we don't turn it around in the next five or 10 years, it may be 170 degrees Fahrenheit on 40% of the land, part of the time, by 2300. But we can turn it around. We're the Americans, 5% of the population controlling 25% of the pollution, 26% of the pollution. We can turn it around and make this place continue to be the Eden in a lot of ways, the amazing place it is. So uh, those, a lot of those songs call people to do nice things to the planet, like use clotheslines. You know, if, uh, if I'm only saving uh, the planet for a few seconds or a few hours in all of my work, it's worth it. Um, because a few hours of saving the whole planet, or even if I saved it for a few minutes, that's a whole lot of hugging and kissing and loving going on, you know? So I think that's kind of what an eco hero might want to look at, how they might want to look at it is, think about saving this planet for a few seconds. Because if you save it for a few seconds, Imagine all the great times that are happening around the world in those few seconds. There's so much emphasis on saving the whole world forever. It's not going to last forever. But if we all say, hey, I want to add a few more seconds of love to this sweet Mother Earth, and, and then it feels good. You know, the media has put so much focus on saving the whole thing forever. Well, it's not going to make it forever anyway. I think the planet's got about 500 million years or something. So you mentioned the some Asian forests and we're, we're losing these Siberian tigers. What are some other areas that are near and dear to your heart, things that, that you think about on a daily basis when you're out singing these songs and trying to get people to understand that these things matter? Uh, right here, uh, the, the forests are drying up right behind us. So what's near and dear to my heart is near and very dear. These mountains right here, the, the uh, beetles have come over the other side because because it's for sure, it's getting drier and hotter. Our drought is hotter than the drought of the uh, Dust Bowl times. Yes, our Earth may go through cycles, but it's friggin' getting hot. And to add to the cycles, to aggravate the cycles that it naturally has, uh, is not a good idea. You know, if it's getting hot, why add more CO2 and say, well, it's a natural cycle. We put levees up so that towns don't flood. Why not do the right thing for our climate? so many things we've done to control our planet to make it more livable. Hey, these people that say it's going through a cycle. If it's going through a cycle, put the levees up. Let's start reducing our CO2 so that we don't fry. How long have you been coming out as Earthy Man? Yeah, I came out. I came <laughs> out as Earthy Man. 
uh, it, you know, I couldn't tell my parents, I couldn't tell a lot of people. You, that's a really sensitive question. I finally came out, it took a lot of therapy, and I finally came out about two years ago as Earthy Man, and I wish I would have come out as a kid. Oh, it just would have been so much better to let it out, let the people know that I'm Earthy Man. But uh, I think there's a lot of Earthy Man men and Earthy women out there that are not coming out. Come on, you guys, come out, come on, be brave. Let your earthy man and earthy woman out.